and welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan and I am going to show you my grocery haul at Sam's Club. Last two weeks I went to Aldi. I have that grocery haul posted in my last video. I'll try to link it below. This video is from Sam's. Last, the first two weeks of this month I spent $800. This two weeks I spent over almost $600. I'll tell you the exact amount at the end. I also have an Azure order and my Amazon subscribe and save that I'll put in at the end of this video in case you're curious about what I got at those two places. Let me show you what I got. I was super craving fresh things when I went to Sam's and you'll see that in this video. I saw these little backpacks and I got one for my first grader and my kindergartner. Ah! The watermelon almost died. They're so cute little lunchbox and backpack set. Same here. I got that one for my kindergartner dinosaurs this one for my first grader and i don't know what it is but i bet it kind of reminded him of minecraft which he thought was cool so i was excited because those are the only two boy ones that they had let's start and i will show you what we got all right we got some mini peppers and some bell peppers both of all the colors i'm gonna do stuffed bell peppers with these green ones and these just get eaten super fast we love these same same with these same with these i'm gonna do a what is this called sheet pan meal with some of these you take these tomatoes and cook your meat on it and then you mix it with pasta so i'm gonna try that for my kids i'm gonna mix mine with cauliflower i got two heads of cauliflower three english cucumbers two packs of sweet corn Oh, I pray this is good because I've been wanting some so bad. I got a watermelon, some baking powder, two things of mushrooms. Last month, I got some portobello mushrooms at Aldi's and I stuffed them. They were amazing with sausage. I did not go to Aldi this time and they didn't have those at Sam's. Bummer, but that's okay. We'll have our mushroom fix here. We got some peaches. A couple are missing. I did not want to pay this month for peaches, but I have tried to order them several times. I got them at Aldi last time. Those were a huge letdown. I stopped at a farmer's market and got some from them. Those were a huge letdown. I tried to order some from Azure. They were out of stock. So today, these were like almost $10 for 3, 6, 9, 12 peaches. And that is just hurts my feelings because I'm a Georgia girl and I love peaches every year. And I haven't got any this year and it's already almost the middle of July. That's my peach sob story. They're delicious, by the way. Totally worth it they were so soft and just so sweet juice running down your arm like a peach should bye dahlia onions two packs of these blueberries these blueberries were a good price i can't remember what it was but they were like five bucks for this big pack of 18 ounces let's see asparagus carrots i got two rotisserie chickens for dinner tonight and then i got home my husband said our neighbors invite us over for supper and that is exciting so now we'll have this after trips tomorrow instead i got kiwi i got this hummus and I don't usually buy these single serve things because I have nine kids, sorry. I have eight kids and that would just make this go so fast. But one of my daughters is not a huge fan of meat. She doesn't like chicken. She doesn't like a lot of things. And I'm always trying to get her to eat protein. So I got these for her for the days that she doesn't like to eat any of the protein options that we have available. I figured she could have this. We usually always have some kind of veggie she could dip in this. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna see how this goes for her and if I can keep her siblings out of it. I got them a big thing of hummus over here. They didn't have any original like that. She only likes original. Ugh, picky eaters kill me. Mozzarella cheese for pizza. Two bags of cuties. Can anybody just like cry with me for a second on how expensive these are getting? These are almost $8 a bag. I wanted to buy like four bags. My kids love these, but I just couldn't bring myself to spend that much money on oranges that are going to be gone so fast. Sometimes these are gone so fast, I don't even get one. So I got two bags. I'm going to make sure I get one. I'll hide one. Ah, anyway, so sad. I got this 100% juice for the kids special treat same with this my kids started back basketball and they've really been enjoying taking this to practice i don't often buy them special drinks but i did and i will continue to do so as long as i can when i can when these are gone they're gone but that's okay i've never gotten anything like this that i can remember either and these just look super good i saw these on heavenly homemakers email i think and she got something a little different at Costco, but I was like, I'm going to look for those. And they totally had them. There's 35 in here. This was $10. So, ah, 20 pounds of ground beef. In the last two weeks, we went through almost 11 pounds. I was going to only get one 10 pound, but I was like, I didn't get any chicken or roast or anything fancy like that this time. So we're just gonna do a lot of ground beef. I also got two meals of these sausages. This crab, mostly for me. 
shrimp and steak. I got this for date night. These steaks were marked down. I was pretty excited. I rarely get enough steak for me and all the kids, but I thought we would definitely have a very delicious meal of these sirloins. This shrimp, only a few of us eat it, so this will last several, several meals. Here's the red pepper hummus, pepper jack cheese. This was only five bucks. Woohoo! Thank you, Sam's Club. These pickles are my favorite. Amazing pickles. Highly recommend. White cheese dip because hello, teenagers. Cheddar cheese, more cheddar cheese, cilantro, salsa. If you guys have never tried this, I highly recommend. Parmesan cheese, I went the easy route and got it pre-shredded this time. I was completely out of pepper. Almond milk, guys, I have been avoiding almond milk for so long, so I'm not a huge fan of most of the ingredients. I keep telling myself I was gonna make it. I bought almonds last month to make it. I still haven't made it and I really miss it. So. Here it is in my house again with the less than ideal ingredient and I'm just really gonna enjoy it and be thankful for it. Half and half, heavy cream. My kids love this on frozen fruit. Milk, milk. I was gonna pick up a few boxes of cereal but I honestly couldn't find it. So I guess we won't have that. More heavy cream, a pineapple, cream cheese. These sweet sapphire grapes, I've never seen anything like it and after I bought them, I tasted one because I love black grapes and these. Did not disappoint. Four bunches of bananas, a cantaloupe. Does anybody else's children eat Frank's Red Hot Sauce by the gallon? No, just mine? Okay, four pounds of these strawberries. I'm pretty sure we took out like a pound of those on the way home, we were eating them. Cantaloupe, broccoli, romaine hearts. I was so happy to see these again. I haven't seen these at Sam's in so long. Brussels sprouts, not many people eat these, but I saw at Farmhouse on Boone, she was making Brussels sprouts with maple syrup, salt. What else did she put on them? Ugh, I can't remember. But me and the kids were like, that looks so good. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. I got the non-bites for the kids to have with their hummus. Derek and I got Greek food one day last week and the kids loved the pita bread. So I decided to get that for them as a fun thing. I got this chicken for an easy meal after church tomorrow. Was gonna be today with that rotisserie chicken, but now it's gonna be tomorrow after church. Apples, I got these indie apples. I've never tried them, but they were the only ones where the apples were like small. Most of the apples were giant. My kids have a hard time eating giant apples. So I got these little ones. I hope they're delicious. I do not know. Have you guys ever tried in the apples? Blackberries, sweet cherries. Did I say blueberries already? Tomatoes, backpack, all the things. This is the lunch that I brought home. My family, they're so sweet, all waiting for me on the back porch. While well, I finish up lunch, I got pepperoni pizza, one slice of cheese for Eddie. This for the big people. It looks like only Derek got it though. And I also got a sushi. Thank you, Sam's Club, for having such affordable pizza for on the way home. So this week's grocery haul is really funny and very different than usual. So I forgot several things, Greek yogurt and sour cream. I'll have to pick those up at Aldi. I forgot ground sausage. I didn't forget it. I tried to get it at Sam's, but I couldn't find any. Um, I had three packs of bacon left over from last month. We also have ribs in the freezer still from last month that we'll or maybe we'll make some at some point. I did not meal plan for this grocery haul. I sat down yesterday and I tried for hours. I got on Pinterest, I watched YouTube videos to get inspiration and I just couldn't. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna do this. I have ideas in my head of what I want and I just went and bought it. And I hope that it works out. I know I told you guys that you didn't wanna see me again until July 15th and I'm happy to say it is July 15th. I made it two weeks with my last grocery haul and I'm gonna make it two weeks with this one. So you won't see me again until August and that's exciting. Everything that we got here. I can't remember how much. Let me grab the receipt. When you have a large family and you only have one refrigerator, the trick is can your refrigerator hold everything you thought it could? The fridge is beeping. It is? Yeah. And I'm deaf, so I can't hear the fridge. <laughs> Seriously, every time I'm putting up groceries, my kids are like, Mom, the refrigerator is beeping. And I'm like, Oh, really? I don't hear that noise. Like, I only hear things in the middle of the spectrum of hearing. I don't hear the sounds on the end. So that's an interesting fact about me. You probably didn't know. I really am deaf to the high and low sounds. So if you hear my refrigerator going off in my videos, I don't hear it. Okay, I'm gonna try opening it again now and see if it doesn't beep. Ready? See if we can fit it all. And you have to fit it all without pushing it all the way to the back because then it freezes. Nobody likes frozen fruits and veggies that are not supposed to be frozen.
Now we just have to find the place for the leftover pizza. What do you think? I can see a few places I could squeeze some leftover pizza. Look right there. Maybe right there. All right, well, the point of the story is we're very blessed and our refrigerator is full. Ta-da! It is in the afternoon on July 11th and I just went and picked up my Azor order. Let me show you what I got. I got 25 pounds of grits. I got a small bag of this last month to try it and we love them. So I went ahead and got them in the higher quantity because they're a little bit cheaper per pound when you get them more. Okay, I got these to try. I was pretty excited to find these. I've never used them, so I'm excited to try them. I got two 12 count of these cones. I absolutely love these type of cones, so I was really excited to see these. I got some vegetable herb dip mix and some Italian dressing mix. I always make homemade ranch and my kids, some of them don't like ranch. They like Italian better, so I thought I would get this just to make my life a little bit easier. I got 30 pounds of these diced up potatoes. I got these last month. They were amazing, but one bad thing is they froze into a rock. They're all one solid 30 pound potato, so I don't know how I'm gonna bust them up. I got these Stacy's tortillas. I'm pretty excited to try them. These per pack, when you got them, 12 at a time, were cheaper than the non-organic version of these at Walmart. So I guess technically, I guess they weren't because this only has eight and the one at Walmart has 10, but these look a lot thicker too. And these actually look cooked. Those are raw. So these are definitely cooked. So I guess I wasn't sure exactly what I was buying. I'm sure these will be great. I'm not sure how, if they're gonna taste as good as the ones I normally get, but I'll have to let you know. My children devour all tortillas. Good and small. I got a bucket, a gamma lid. Oh, they've already kind of sealed it on, but these are great. I've been slowly trying to get, I've been slowly trying to get enough buckets for all of my grains. This month I only had the room in the budget to get one. Last month I think I got five. I got ten pounds of the sweet potatoes. Not good, not true. Five pounds. I love sweet potatoes. Derek likes them okay, but not anybody else. So I thought I'd try to cook some of these when I cook the white ones and see how they cook up. <laughs>